Hey, James Seal here. I'm a big fan of uh, Dream Theater, so in this episode I'm going to show you a way how to get a sort of a Dream Theater vibe um, in an instrumental part. So I did my best. Uh, I, I hope you like it. Here it is. So, especially that middle part is uh, quite a dream theater part and, um, well, the way I did this was uh, thinking in a uh, question and answer structure and um, I'll show you the first thing I came up with, I play in C minor harmonic, uh, C harmonic minor, so the first thing was this and the answer, an octave lower, that's very typical was this. So um, after that I did and then only two notes in the bottom answered with only two notes at the top and then three notes at the top again. So it's a bit random but you can play with that what you want uh, can come up uh, with your own idea and then I um, play the same in the higher octave as it, as in the lower octave. So I did uh, something like this. Uh, and in the lower I played the same. And um, well if you have this uh, question and answer thing and then the both parts uh, play the same thing, well that, that gives you this kind of uh, sound. And uh, so I have two guitar parts, a high one and a low one. Uh, on the high one I use uh, some delay as well. And um, the piano plays both. Uh, so I actually started uh, with writing this part uh, with only the piano. Uh, just in MIDI I, I, I'm not a great piano player. So um, this is that's a really good way to uh, make your uh, part uh, visually so you can see uh, which notes are where and, uh, and stuff. Sometimes it gives you better ideas than uh, uh, pick up the guitar right away. So I hope this is helpful. If you have more questions about this uh, writing method, just let me know. And uh, well, have fun and send me your ideas if you want. Uh, okay, I'll see you in the next one.